ugly, isn't it? But today, in cities right across the world, there are hundreds of these vast, empty, uninspiring rooftops, wasted spaces which we could potentially convert into something just a little more aesthetically pleasing. Something like this. A delightful rooftop garden constructed without any of the usual problems associated with drainage, water seepage and structural stress. In the past, water seepage problems have plagued city gardens, often resulting in streams of water leaking into offices and car parks. Many expensive gardens have been removed and sites returned to bare concrete after leaks developed in the waterproof membrane between the garden and the concrete. A new drainage system has eliminated the need for a gravel filter and all its associated problems. At the heart of the system is this polypropylene modular cell called an Atlantis drainage cell. And this completely replaces the need for the use of blue metal or gravel in most landscaping jobs. And I'm sitting on top of a double garage which has been completely wrapped in a conventional waterproof membrane, a type of black plastic. And it's on top of this that the drainage cells are placed. They've also been wrapped around the sides of the garage in this particular job. On top of the drainage cells is placed this material. It's again a fairly conventional product. This is a soil filter and it's on top of this that the soil is laid. Now, there are a number of advantages to using the drainage cells, but one of the most important ones is a structural advantage. 3.5 kilograms is the total weight of a square meter of this, compared with 250 kilograms if we were using the gravel. The uniform shape of the drainage cells solves many of the engineering problems associated with rooftop gardens. The cells are easy to lay and, of course, much lighter to handle than gravel, a distinct advantage if the rooftop garden is above a multi-storey in a city skyscraper. The conventional system saw plastic sheeting laid on the roof, followed by gravel and then the soil. It was inefficient for several reasons. The gravel would tear holes in the plastic, allowing water seepage. The tremendous weight of the gravel could also cause cracking of the concrete, Again, water seepage occurred. However, the lightweight cells support the weight of the soil and allow the water to drain away, all without breaking the waterproof membrane. Well, this North Sydney rooftop garden is still very young, but in a couple of years' time, the plants will be flourishing and we'll have a lush subtropical garden. And it's been created with no drainage problems at all for the building beneath us. And I guess if we're going to continue to fill our city skyline with buildings instead of trees, then this is the very least we can do to redress the imbalance.